Yeah, I'm recording. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mark, I met you lots of times at yeah. races and things. I can't Peter. remember. Mark Geary. I'll give my card, but I'm taking photos for hand-built cycling news in America. Paul yeah. Skilbeck. Yeah. I don't know if you know him. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, so I'd like to take some of your bikes yeah. and uh, ask, you. ask you some questions and record yeah. the answers so I don't have to write them down and okay. hopefully it all works. Ah, uh, terrible writing. Can you get it? Anything, anything you want shifted, just tell me and I'll shift it. Yeah. Um, I'm into tandem, so... Hey. I'm into tandem. I've got a tandem. <laughs> this one's wicked. Like, it looks great. You, you never had felt how disc brakes can truly work until you bring a tan on just like oh, yeah, yeah. jam on the brakes. I've, I've crashed heavily, well, everybody was fine, but I used to ride with a blind guy back in Ireland who was about, yeah, yeah. I don't know, 16 stone, 120, whatever, yeah, this yeah. big bloke, big this, overweight this bloke. Is, yeah, this is yeah. true guy that's blind. Yeah, yeah. So he's now able to say to his mates, let's go for let's a ride. Let's go for a ride. Have yeah. I got a bike for you? Yeah, exactly. And look, <laughs> tandem riding is a lot of fun. I've, I've got a bike with my daughter now, and uh, it's a, fortunately it's a heavy mountain bike one, which is great because we go off road. But mm. we're just cruising around it at this stage. Another customer had a Cannondale, Phantom, yeah. and then he got one of mine. He's like, ah, oh. so yours is so much more comfortable. Yeah. Because they just got to overbuild the, the aluminium frames to not develop okay. fatigue cracks. Yeah, yeah. So it's spotted steel. Yes. It's not a problem. Do you want to tell me about it? No, I'm recording uh, here. Um, Belt drive is great on a tandem because you just don't have to touch it. Yes. They won't change length, no nothing. Yeah. And it's actually safer for kids' fingers too, yes. by the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all butter tubing. DI2 makes a hell of a lot of sense for a tandem because it, it trims the front row for you. Yeah, as yeah. As you change gears. Um, I can put it in better light if you want, by, by doing... Yeah, look, that'd be great. Um, it's, it's hard to get photographs and <coughs> concentrate on what you're seeing at the same time. It's a, full it's a, it's a new, uh, yeah, exactly. It's, it's a new experience. Normally I just rock up and do whatever, just take a few shots. But it's, it's a good challenge to have to ask questions and find out more. So these are all butter tubes. Like, that's a mountain bike down tube. Like, not the biggest, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But, um, it's, it's all about, you know, choosing the tubes. I could make a stiffer or a less stiff version of this frame. And it's really just tailored to what the, the rider wants. So for instance, those chain stays are dedicated tandem chain stays from Nova. Yeah. You're recording this, aren't you? I am, yeah. So That's okay, yeah. And they're just monster, like another frame, but it's like, what the hell are these? Yeah. And they're, um, you know, for someone that went to uh, uh, Sporty high performance road tan, that's that's the thing. Yeah. But you've got to have serious dropouts on the rear for the disc because uh, that takes a lot of load. And that's, that's a 180 mil road too. Yeah. It's pretty big on a road bike. Yeah. And of course the front's 200. Wow. Yeah. And you've got somebody else's carbon fork? Uh, for... We end up like a thinking person's carbon fork. Yeah. It's not ridiculously stiff. Yeah. But it's got a great pedigree. It's American. Yeah. And so is this your. Well, you've a few tandems? Uh, 14th tandem. Okay, yeah. So, you know, in Australia, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> It is, yeah, yeah. And how many hours work in building uh, it? I don't know. You it's don't know. Like That's not two count. weeks. Yeah. I've got some written questions here. If you, oh. can, if you can read them. Is this for everyone? Well, oh, six, right. six, at least so, six. I'm going to struggle to with the time I've got. Yeah. I think it's um, fifteen years. 
this time around. But I started in 88 and went to 93 back yeah. in the, the heyday of mountain bikes. Yeah. And I won the Australian Downhill Mountain Bike Championship twice in my friends. Awesome. 88 and 91. And they were built steel frames. They were steel hardtails, yeah. Hardtails, yeah. Forks too. Yeah, yeah. And I was the trials champion in 80, 89 and 91 as well. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so where, where do you live? Uh, I mean, I'm um, oh. toward King Lake North. It's 40 k's northeast of Melbourne, but it's like secluded bush, yeah, bush yeah. suburb. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, work from home. Purpose of administration is right. So you, you want to show this one? Oh, this I'll, I'll show them all. Seat, seat mask I, I'll... and 3D printed hydro guide. Like that thing is this inside, and this you'll see the pictures together. Yeah. An idea okay. Yeah. So you still do mountain bikes? Well, I don't get or many orders. Don't get many I've, orders. I've built one yeah. for myself. Yeah. I'm trying to just shade it. <laughs> well. Okay. I'm trying to get the full bike experience. Yeah. You want to take it? Take the photo on the uh, drive line side. You know about that? <laughs> yeah. I think it's, if it's if you now it's probably a good time. But you get this one coming out of chainsaw. So the features are that, yeah. the seat mast, and I can spin it around. Because on the seat mast I've got the real estate. Oh yeah. The yeah. Back yeah. And I'll spin it. I'll spin it for Yeah. Say the word. So is this built to order? Well, this is mine. This is yours, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So this is. Um, so slender SL seat stays, Columbus SL, with that nice S band. Got a bit of this going on the on the Sintase. Yeah. Sure, actually got that. And How'd you go? They work? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a... Yeah, it's, it's working. Yeah? Yeah. Um, <laughs> couple little things.
Bring that. You got a spot. Oh. We can just quickly bring it somewhere. Outside. Oh. Wow. But did you want to bring it? Yeah. I, someone well, said there was a spot around the corner, but no, it's bright enough. Uh, That's okay. We can nah, leave it there. It's too hard because yeah, they they've do bolted it on and stuff. Yeah. Not not my design. Yeah. Yeah. Stand. That's all right. Um, <laughs> questions? How do we? Are we? Tell me about this bike. Yes. Yeah. Gravel bike. Favorite bike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 700 by 38 tyres, and that particular tread is awesome. Yeah. Fast. Just enough grip. Okay. Yeah. That's G1, is it? Yeah. Yeah, 12 G1. Okay. Anything else about the bike that makes us. Uh, so it's unique? Columbus's future gravel fork, which a okay. year ago was probably still is the best through axle carbon fork with big clearance. Yeah. Uh, external cables for ease of maintenance and just working in happy conditions. Um, yeah. Uh, it's Columbus light tubing. Tapered head tube. Columbus is tapered head tube. And get the sexy reinforcement wings on there. Which are made in house. Okay. That's fucking body again. That's in the ground. I'm, I'm trying to think who, who's been working hard at a lady. I'm not a facility to call bikes. Oh, you just got to. You've got my S paper with the questions on it. Sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. S bend seat stays again. Yeah. Slender. Wow. Question. Tell me question. I know. Yeah. It's... My my uh, interpretation of the ultimate gravel bike. Yeah. You know, it's not not high end, but it just works really well. well. And my favourite bike because you can ride it on the road or off road. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly, the chainstay length is perfect for really steep climbing. Like, you can climb stuff on this, limited by the gearing, but yeah. better traction than a mountain bike. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you pressure, the point pressure of the tyre, really grips where, where it's available. Yeah, and yeah. A mountain bike tyre, by comparison, is just kind of floating and Yes. Sides, yeah. Uh, Features and details. I've run into those. Yeah. Uh, any parts fabricated in your workshop? Uh, well, so this is my in-house design. So and I send it out okay. to be 3D printed in stainless. Yep. So that's that's internal reinforcement. So that you just get that. Yeah. And in fact, if you look at the pictures, you can. I mean, that's that's it there. Yeah. So I'm really proud about that because there's a lot of work and you can't, it's a shape you can't fabricate. Yeah, in, yeah. In the conventional way. Yeah. Um, and even to the point where you put it through the tube and it's got a hook there, so then you just got to twist it and it stays in place. Um, head tube wings, oh it's on this one too, I'm really, I make those in house. 
because I can't buy anything. I'm not the only one that does it. But yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a popular look now. And this is a buttered seat mask tube. I'm not going to say where it's from because it's a lot of work to track it down. Yeah, yeah. And apparently I'm the only one that realised it's available. Okay. Uh, yeah. In Australia. So I'm, I'm maximising the benefit at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So people have done it out of plane gauge and I was never, I would, it, it didn't meet my criteria for durability, which is what budding yeah. was developed for. It's not to save weight, that's the bonus of good design. Budding is to reinforce the weak spots, the joints. And so particularly here, you don't want to run the risk of it developing a, a fatigue crack there, so it's got to be butted. So it's really thin wall there and it's thick wall here. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Awesome. So that's the main the main thing. And that's a butted that tube is butted. Yeah. It's actually two butted tubes joined. So there's a there's kind of a thick wall bit in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> but the key is that that's not highly loaded. These okay. are high, more highly loaded. Yeah. So it's butted. Yeah. So how many bikes a year do you produce? 40. 40. And is it your full-time job? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay. Oh, look, I think I've got plenty of material there. Hopefully... <laughs> You're very good. <laughs> Before I destroy you a bit, of, I've got That's so much right. card there. Oh, you got my card? Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll stick everything on Facebook. I might throw some of the chatter up on Facebook <laughs> as well, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, all yeah. Right. No, it's all good. Thanks for that. I'll, I'll be Pleasure. back tomorrow. Cheers.